Most developers work with APIs, but never think about what's actually delivering those packets, like how does it happen that the request is being made from client to server, and how does this request go through the internet? That's where the second layer comes in, in the OSI model, which is the transport layer that has the TCP and UDP inside of it. These are both transport layer protocols, meaning they handle how data moves from one machine to another over the network, but both are doing it very differently. In this lesson, we'll learn about these transport layer protocols. We'll start with TCP, which is the reliable but slower version. Then we'll learn about the UDP, which is in short its faster and unreliable version of TCP. And we'll compare both of them and decide which one we need to choose based on the API requirements. Let's start with TCP, which stands for Transmission Control Protocol. Think of it like sending a packet with a receipt, tracking and also signature that is required. So when you send some packets over the internet, you usually don't send all of it at once. Sometimes the data is larger, let's say it's divided in three chunks, so you need to send them separately, the first chunk, the second chunk and also the third chunk. So in this case, TCP guarantees delivery of all of these three chunks. If one of these packets is lost or arrives out of order, TCP will resend or reorder it. It's also connection based, which means that before sending any data, it performs a three-way handshake, which is establishing the connection between client and server. It also orders these packets, let's say the client receives the first packet first, then the third packet, then the second packet. It makes sure that it's reordered to first, second and third. This of course adds overhead, but it ensures that it's accurate and reliable. That's why APIs that involve payments, authentication or user data always use TCP. On the other hand, we have UDP, which stands for User Datagram Protocol. It's fast and efficient, but the downside of this is that it doesn't guarantee that all of the packets will arrive. For example, if you're sending four packets from the server to the client, one of these packets might be lost and it won't be pushed to the client and UDP won't make sure that this eventually gets delivered. So there is no delivery guarantee. There is also no handshake or connection or any sort of tracking. But because of these trade-offs, it is faster transmission and it comes with less overhead as it doesn't need to make sure that all of the packets are delivered or in the correct order. For example, in video calls, UDP can be the best protocol because if some information was cut in the middle or let's say you're in a call with someone and their internet connection lags, you don't need to receive that old connection or the old data on what they said because you are in the call right now. So UDP is the go-to for video calls, online games or live streams. Because if one of these packets drops, it's still fine and you don't need to go back and resend this packet. You can just move on and send the next packets. This is what the three-step handshake looks like in TCP. As you can see, the first step is that client sends a request to the server. In the second step, server syncs and acknowledges the request. And in the first step, the client acknowledges the server. And this is where the connection is established between the client and server. And now they can start sending data back and forth on top of this TCP protocol. So in short, TCP is the safer and reliable version of UDP, but it is slower. And on the other hand, UDP is faster and lightweight, but it is risky. For example, if one of the packets in between the source and destination is lost, it doesn't resend it, so there is no guaranteed delivery. But on the other hand, if in TCP one of the packets is lost, after some timeout, it still resends the first packets. And this way, it guarantees that all data will be delivered compared to UDP, where some data might be lost, but it will still keep going. And when choosing between those two, these are the main things that you need to look for. If you need the connection to be safe and reliable, then you need to go with TCP. Or if you need it to be fast, lightweight, but some data loss might be acceptable, then you will need to go with UDP. For example, it is best for using TCP in bankings, emails, payments and so on. And on the other hand, UDP is mostly used in video streaming, streaming, gaming and so on. 
If you found this video helpful about the transport layer TCP and UDP, then you can also check out the other video where I talk about the application layer, the protocols that are there like HTTP, HTTPS, WebSockets and more.